everyone welcome to my channel Nicklicks. In this video I am going to tell you how to change a password of admin panel uh, in PHP. Uh, for example if you are uh, making an admin panel in PHP and if you want uh, to change a password of this admin panel how you can change uh, that password with the help of a form or with the help of a user interface by which user can change and uh, like uh, change its passwords according to its own requirement for example we have a login table uh, where username is admin and the password is admin and uh, uh, this is my admin panel so here uh, I have to just uh, like check whether I have attached a link over here so I have created a form named change password dot php and this uh, I have I like taken up the three fields over here the one is the old password because we have to enter the old password over here we have to enter the new password as well and we need to confirm the new password uh, so that uh, there is not difference uh, like uh, by mistake uh, there is not any extra key that has been added into your password so moving to this part first of all we need to change it uh, we have to just link it into the left list so the change password is the you can say uh, the name of the file so I have to do here as change password.php so if I am going to click here as change uh, like if I am going to click here as page summary and if I am going to click here as change password so right now my page has been opened that displays my old password new password and the confirm new password so I have made a fields over here uh, that is input type text name old pass to this I have given the old pass to this we have given the new pass and to this we have given the C new pass so moving to this one uh, if not empty because I have given the name uh, submit button as save so if not empty dot underscore post save uh, so getting the old password I need to create a op uh, variable so old p is the old pass new pass and C new pass so old pass um, is the old password then it's come the C pass uh, is the I think it's the new pass and C new pass right so new pass is a uh, my like new password and uh, C new pass is my the again the new password which I have just entered it from the user so that uh, there is not any confusion in creating the new password so first of all we need to compare uh, the new password with confirm new password if these both passwords are equal then uh, it will be moving to the next part otherwise it will be saying me as uh, new password and confirm new password does not match does not does not match so uh, if new password and confirm new password matches so it will be creating a query uh, the query will be select star from uh, we have a table name as login so select star from login where password equals to uh, let it be np uh, no it's op the old password so if uh, uh, my new password and confirm new password is equal then uh, a query will be executed which will be telling that uh, is there any uh, you have any old password with the name of this in your database uh, this is basically uh, useful more useful when you have only single user into your database means there is only an admin user you need to check otherwise if there are multiple users you need to check here as username as well along with the password so right now uh, I have only single user admin panel so I'm, I have not to implement a check my username I am only going to check with my password that if select start from login where password equals to ob and uh, I'm going to execute my QD and if uh, count mysql i underscore num underscore rows so let it be check that if result and let's say equal to count so let's say uh, first of all I need to create a uh, like admin and the new password is one two three and the confirm new password is four five six so 
uh, right now it's saying me a uh, new password and confirm new password does not match that's true because i have not entered the correct new password and confirm new password so here i'm going to write as old password as one two three and the new password i should be a four five six and the confirmed password will be also be four five six so if i'm going to click on a save it's saying me zero why it's saying me zero because here i have written now one two three so it is checking that new password and confirm new password is equal so it is checking that select star from login table where password equals to ob right now i have entered here op so there is not any password with the name with the text one two three into our database so uh, select star from login where password equals to one two three uh, when we are going to execute this query result will be zero when we are going to count it with the help of my sql num rows the count will be equals to zero so here i am going to say here as if count is greater than zero then it's uh, you can say uh, we are going to add an update query otherwise it is going to say me echo old password does not match does not match so this will be the query uh, with the old password and if the uh, like password is being matched then there will be update query update login set password set password equals to new p and uh, the query will be executed and here it will be uh, you can say a message is going to be printed that says uh, that your password is updated successfully so if the old password matches so first of all if new password and confirmed new password are the same then it is going to check the old password if the old password is also same it is going to update the uh, login table and it is going to set password as np my new password so then it is going to save me the uh, like password updated successful so if we are going to say this as uh, let's say it's one two three old password is not same so for five uh, let it be old password is the same because right now the password is admin so new password is four five six and the confirm new password is one two three so confirm new password and new password does not match so it is going to say me new password and confirm new password does not match so if i'm going to input a wrong uh, old password and i'm going to say uh, enter new password and confirm new password will be the same so right now 789 is not my old password so right now it is going to say me that old password does not match so now if i'm going to say as admin and if i'm going to say as old password is admin it's okay and the new password is your 123 and 123 uh, that is also okay so if I'm going to save this, the password is updated successfully. Message is being displayed on to your screen. So if I'm going to check in my database and table, so now my password is updated to one, two, three. So in this way, you can just change your password of admin panel with the help of this coding. I hope you like my videos. Do subscribe to my channel. It take a lot of effort to like make a, these all videos. So do subscribe to my channel, support my channel. Thanks for watching my video.